just got over to Sensoji. We're walking kind of between an area where there's like a bunch of shops and a bunch of markets. You can see it looks really pretty. There's a lot of people walking around with like kimonos and all dressed up, even tourists too. It's kind of cool, but it's awesome. There's all these shops, lots of treats. Um, there's food all over the place, but we're going to skip that for now because we're going to walk over to the temple and check this out. It's called Sensoji Temple. TJ's over here with me. What's up? After that, we're going to make our way back and really explore this market. Huge market. So cool. The weather is great. The sky is clear. It's a little, it's only 3.40 p.m. right now, but it's already starting to seem like it's getting darker and things are closing. But anyway, let's check out the scene. I'm not sure what that is. It's some kind of treats. Lots of souvenirs, this lanterns is, uh, everywhere. Nakamise Shopping Street. And there's the temple. You can see there's the lanterns they have on the side over here. There's a huge one right in the middle. Oh, this is awesome. Just to the left, you can see already that there's a big five layer pagoda. All right, TJ, what'd you get? Brad called these swastikas. <laughs> but these are like little charms you can get from the temple here, and this one's supposed to bring you good luck and like healthy relationships. I thought they'd be cute for my nieces, but they look like little pink Nazi badges. <laughs> point in the video, my microphone died. So after checking out Sensoji Temple, we looked across and there was a street lined with a bunch of different types of street food. It was right next to the temple, so it seemed like the obvious thing to do. We walked down the street and just started checking out all the really cool things they were making.
ended up getting two things. One of them was like a hot dog shaped sticky rice wrapped in some kind of marinated pork or bacon type thing. It was very, very juicy and wet and so, so good. Look at the steam coming off of this thing. We also got this citrusy lemon type drink. I don't know what either of these are called, but wow, they were really good.
doesn't work. But I was born on 11-21. You put your 100 yen in. And then it gives you a fortune. It's so hard to get out. <laughs> Landed on number 10. 10. And my lucky number. And whoa. Wow. <laughs> Read it to us. Yeah, sure. You'd have to like use the translate. Arigato. Oh, these are dates. So February, I think it's like the Virgo. 823 to 922. So I had this like Egyptian looking thing. Twenty four. And this little tiny scroll. It's so cute. <laughs> it's just wrapped in a little tube. Oh, what is this? Is this like simple syrup? I think so. Wow. Is this for yours or mine? Or for both? Maybe for tiny little. That's good. Thanks. Thanks. Yep. And the rest? Yep. After having some coffee and getting off of our feet for a little bit, we continued to walk. We were on to our next destination, but my wireless mics were still dead, so here's another voiceover. As you can see, some of the shops that were surrounded by were all starting to close. The gates were shutting down, uh, but there were still a few souvenirs and snacks that were available. But I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of the Sinsoji Temple and surrounding areas, including this night market that I'm walking through right now. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you're new here, subscribe so you can see my future videos and click that notification bell to never miss any of my uploads. Follow me at whereisbrad underscore on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.